sitting out underneath the tree here waiting for me to give his first ride all excited it's always fun to ride the first time so maybe next time we'll put the camera on it and take you with us we got ourselves a scooter i never thought i'd get a scooter but i saw this scooter on amazon and it was it was priced pretty good i think they have them on sale now at like 3.99 and it's yellow i love yellow how many of you guys like yellow i think this yellow is so cool so we're gonna open it up check it out see what it is but it should be fun it's kind of like an e-bike no pedals and it'll go so we're gonna open this up and see what we have grab myself some tools and knife and they always put these good straps on it to help you make sure it doesn't uh, nothing happens to it they brought this early usually i don't get my deliveries till later in the day this one came pretty early so we're going to get all the coverings off of it here and you can tell i'm excited i get excited when i get this stuff i love to do it one of my favorite things has become riding e-bikes and then i saw this scooter and i go i gotta get one of these scooters i've been wanting a yellow e-bike and the, the, every one that i've looked at wasn't exactly what i wanted there we go aha we got it open now it started out i have a feeling oh we got there's a first box that comes in i can see it's yellow let's open up this box and see what's in this first box probably I don't know, I'm going to guess. Probably a charger. And maybe a seat. Oh, it's, it's what well, I know what it is. Let's, uh, this has got tools. Let me get a uh, pair of scissors. I can open this better. Yeah, this has a basket that goes on the back. The bubble wrap. Okay, so it has a cool little basket. This uh, basket will fit on the back. Let's put our excess in here and then it's got an air pump that's kind of handy you can uh, pump your tires up there and it came with looks like a bundy strap some tools to put it together with and of course you need a a book this tells you all about it We'll have to look up at how to charge it, all the good stuff. I've kind of read up on a lot of this. This here is probably the charger itself. Yeah, it sure is. So they've got a charger for you. You always got to have a charger. And the cord. So we're going to lay this stuff over here out of the way for right this moment. Now next, let's see what else we got in here. I don't think there's a lot of things they put together on this. Oh, look how pretty yellow that is. It's so cool. And there's a seat. Now, I'm guessing the seat, since I've done other ones, most seats are kind of hard for me. And I have a feeling we'll probably be replacing this seat with a different one, but we're gonna try it first. It's not bad, I squeezed down on it. I have a couple other seats over here that may be softer, but we'll give this seat a try. I don't know if you can see it from there. But let's see if we can pull it out. Oh, wait a minute, there's another, another container here. You gotta get everything out. It'll keep you from pulling things up. There it is. It weighs like 37 pounds, which isn't bad. I 
make sure there's nothing else. So let's let's do this. Let's uh, put our excess stuff in this box. Now I thought it would be a little shinier than it is. It's, it's kind of a I'm gonna say a matte finish, which I was hoping to be shinier than that. So kind of wish that would have been different, but it is what it is. It's kind of a dull yellow. I've already named this. We're gonna be calling this bike Nanner for like banana. And so that's gonna be the name of it is Nanner. Here's the uh, seat. I wonder if there's a kickstand here. Oh, right here on the side. There's a kickstand over here. Pull that off and put the kickstand down. And then we can lean this over. Now I'm sure we're gonna have to put some air in the tires. This is the handlebar. We'll slowly bring that up. Take that. It's really gonna be nothing to put it together. But one of the first things I wanna do here Look at that, and it's up already. That somewhere over here is where it plugs in to charge. I want to get it on charge because you know we're going to want to ride this really soon here. Right over here is the charge port. So let's go over here and grab our. You ever see an old man like me get on the ground? So this just plugs in your typical like an e-bike battery charger. Take all the protective stuff off of it. Yeah, see it's green. This will turn red when I plug it in. Oh, I have to move it just a little closer to me here and get her plugged in right here on the side. Open up the whole cord, plug it in. And it turned red. That's what we wanted. When the light turns green, that'll mean that it has taken a charge. All right, let's put the seat on. I wanted something really, really low. And I really think this is going to come down here. And as you can see, I can stand up to it and it's very low. Most e-bikes for a short person like me is too high. In fact, this one will probably be able to pull it up just a hair and put it down in. Let's tighten it up a hair so it gets nice and tight. Center that up nicely. There we go. Yeah, see, this is going to be great. You could look at this. I'll be able to sit down on this thing. And it's going to be right. It's not going to be so tall that I can barely reach the ground. They make everything. I'm left-handed and I'm short. But they make just about everything you can imagine for tall, right-handed people. And when you're short and left-handed, so many things just don't fit you the way they should. Hey, we've got this almost together. Now, this bars aren't set up straight. Just open this up a little bit here. It looks like something like that. It's got a bell. It's better than the other bell I had on it. Take the protective cut green off of this. And then here's our keys. It's got keys and it's also got like a little reflector here. We'll get this straightened out. Let me uh, take the keys off. There we go. Keys are off. There's two keys. Keys goes in here. You turn it one way, we'll turn on the thing. We gotta let the battery charge. It might take four, five, six hours. So here we go guys, there is 
the scooter. I said we just got to get her charged up next and then we'll be all set to go. All right, we've got the uh, Nanner is all charged up. Show you what I've done. I like to have a mirror. So I added a mirror to Nanner. I always put my computer so I can keep track how fast, where I was going. That, I always do that. And I've got the basket hooked up. So we're going to take this out and try to do an initial ride. Well, Nanner is sitting out underneath the tree here waiting for me to give it its first ride. All excited. It's always fun to ride the first time, so maybe next time we'll put the camera on it and take you with us. I've rode the bike for oh what, four or five days now and I did make a few changes on it from the beginning first of all I was kind of considered about the seat to start with I use these wide seats on all my e-bikes these things are so comfortable that I decided I have to uh, put a big wide seat on it keeps my butt nice and comfortable so I added that to the bike and of course we've had the rack and that on it but I also have a 3d printer so the throttle actually is a twist throttle like this and sometimes my arm hand gets a little numb in that front so i 3d printed out this thumb drive so now all i have to do is do it and it just bolts on to the area here i've added a uh, camera mount or a phone mount is what i want to say to it now this particular mount has a, uh, I, I've made it myself. I had a bunch of pieces, parts, and uh, it just goes around the handle grip and comes up there. It's a little shaky, but it does work. Let's turn this on a second. Oh, there's, I'm on the phone, the camera mode there. There, we're taking a picture of us taking a picture on it. That wasn't what I was trying to get to. But I'm gonna, uh, I have another app that I can use to uh, do it. There's a uh, app here that will record you. And I'm gonna use this in a ride here. We're gonna do a short little ride and do a quick video. It has a little advertisement. You have to shut the advertisement off at first there. And then it'll come up and it'll give you your distance, maximum speed and current speed. So I'm gonna do that, but I also have this uh, device here this is a computer that you can use people use it for runners and stuff but you can also use it for your bike e-bikes anything it moves and that'll keep track of my speed and how far I've went so I had that on the beginning and uh, but I'm using that of course I've added my mirror I, I love these mirrors they fit right on the end of the handlebars and they do really well so I didn't show you originally to uh, turn this on we have a key you flip the key and as you can see, if it ain't too bright out here, you can see we're fully charged right now. You flip it the first one, but let me come around here to the other side. And if I flip it to the next one, the headlight comes on. So we also have a headlight, which is very handy. When you're out riding, to have good lighting is a, a really necessity that you uh, uh, really should have. Every bike should have a light on it. So and it looks pretty bright. I haven't rode it at night yet. But we got it all set up, so I've added a few things there. We'll turn this back off for now. But we're going to go ahead and take a little ride there and show you a little onboard uh, video. 
little cloudy and overcast today. So we're going to take a little ride and see if we can show you a little video from the, uh, this is Nanner. That's what I named it. And so let's go up the road here. I don't see, there it is, it kicked in. You can see the uh, phone has a thing. We're going 11 mile an hour according to the phone. This might be interesting to uh, compare both of these. I left my glasses on and now I can't see as good. <laughs> 16, looks like they're pretty close. The phone right now says 17 mile an hour and the, the computer says 16.8. So they're fairly close with each other and they'll tell you how far we're going. I'm gonna stop right here at the stop sign like I should. these glasses off so I can see see how my if I hold my head way up here we should be pointing down if I hold it down we should see that so trying to get my camera to focus on where I want it to because I just kind of want to show you what it's like here it's pretty smooth I'll tell you what it's not very quiet some of the e-bikes you can really hear the motor take off in that and this one you don't hear that so much and so here we're at 16 mile an hour. I've got the throttle all the way down. As you can see on my right here, my thumb throttle I hooked up. We're done right now, 17. One says 17, one says 16.8. So they're both pretty close. 0.31, that one says 0.36. So, you know, they might be a little different, but they should be pretty close in the settings there little chilly this morning it's only like 68 degrees out and you see we're holding about 17 mile an hour is our normal speed here for nanner <laughs> generally we don't get a lot of clouds but this is going to be one of those happen to be cloudy days make sure there's nothing coming i always check my mirrors too But it takes right off, you know, I just put my feet up onto the uh, floorboard below and it holds me really, really well. The, uh, it, it's not squirrely at all. You know, you, sometimes I was a little worried when I got this, if the, uh, being such a small bike that it would be kind of squirrely, but I find it very stable. Of course, you get a little brake squeak. That's pretty normal and all that. I done. People always like to cut the thing short. So I think there's a car behind us. That's where that mirror is handy. You can keep, there's an airplane up there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. We're gonna go down, this is just around the neighborhood. See something in the road over there? Probably trash. Yep. It's like trash. I'm glad it's trash and not an animal that got in the road. That just about breaks my heart when I uh, see an animal that gets hurt on the road. You know, I just don't like that at all. So I might stop, I'm adjust my mirror just a little bit. I can see it, but it's not as clear as I want to be. We've taken this quite a little ways. We had up till before this ride, we were about 40, uh, miles now we got a little kitty up here let's look at the cat little oh, kitty it's gonna go off in the woods hello kitty what are you doing you get out of the road so this is the first time i've done any filming aboard the uh, nana or it's the phantom is the uh, name of the uh, actual bike again we'll leave a link for it here in, in the bottom so check it out if you're interested I like this little area right here I go around this little corner here it's just kind of a fun little spot and there's always my dogs on the left there now we got a squirrel up here in the road you watch these squirrels are funny they start to go then they come back there you go no he, he went on sometimes they you, they go to take off and then they turn around come right back at you it's like whoa, whoa squirrel no wonder they get bumped on the road you know
stop here at the stop sign and do a little adjustment on my mirror. That's better. Yeah, let's make a left here. Now, some of these roads are, can be kind of bumpy like, you know, you wouldn't think so, but Florida's roads can get bumpy at times. There's magnolias, if you can see that tree, the white flowers, the magnolias are in bloom. This uh, shot of rain that we've just recently got really, really helped out the rain, the uh, things starting to grow again. We're gonna make a left here. And uh, I've been watching this, they're building a new house right here. They're coming along pretty fast with it. It looks like they got all the plumbing in place there. And this house here was just sold. They got a pretty neat old car. They got it covered up. Look at this. I believe that's a 63. I think it's a Fairlane. This car's worth some money. And the car backing out. You gotta be careful of the traffic. I tell you, they anytime you're on a, a bike, a scooter, anything like that, a lot of times they don't pay as much attention to you as they really should. That one was okay, but still. But yeah, this uh, little scooter is so easy to handle. I mean, I can just go around. It sets low. It's one of the biggest things I like about it. So, see if I put my feet down. They're just like right there. That's what I really like. All right, let's go ahead and go up here around the corner and finish this ride off. I was just, I wanted to do a quick little ride to show you what it's like on board and how I've set up my dashboard. Do you believe your scooter's got a dashboard? How I keep track of this, will lo load it and I'll load it to my computer. I keep track of all my, uh, rides on all my e-bikes and i still want to call this an e-bike but it's actually a scooter no pedals on it there's no pedal assist or nothing which i don't use the pedal assist anyways that just wasn't one of the features i cared about just like that you know 17 mile an hour just zoom right up there so it's it's peppy We'll make him go down the sidewalk here. And then we're gonna go back to the house and call this a ride. A little slower here. When I have things attached, like especially my phone mount, bumps will tend to move it around just a little bit. I think it might've moved just a hair. You, it seems like you can't hardly get them tight enough to get a good, good grip here. I'm going to stop here at this intersection. Yeah, I don't think it moved. Maybe it came down just a little bit. Let's get that back in place. I can tighten that up easy enough. Again, this is the first time I've actually filmed the board. This is Marsh Road. It's a pretty busy road. My uh, biggest e-bike, I'll go down that. It'll go uh, 20 eight mile an hour this road's 35 so i'm not too much slower than the main traffic if you was the cars you'd think i was as they just well they do that when you're driving a regular car they tailgate you all the time big old truck coming you don't want a monkey with a big truck and here's the house they're building us i've showed that in many videos before but we're heading back to the garage the house here, or I want to call it the garage. Just want to give you a quick ride and show you around what it's like to ride the scooter. We'll pull right up there. The nice thing, I can actually pull right into the garage. I want to show you something with headlights. See, you can see me in the front, I think. The, uh, turn on the lights. There you go. You can see my headlight came on and turn it back off. But I got where I can come right up. 
open the door. Now Sue's home, so we don't have to lock the door when she's home. I can ride this right in. As you can see, my other bike's here. But here we go. This is my little ride on Nana. Nana and my e-bike. Let's hop off here. And there she is. There's Nana. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was my ride. I gotta say, guys, I really do like this. It's a scooter. I keep wanting to call it a bike because it reminds me more of an e-bike than it does a scooter. Uh, it'll go. I've had it up. I actually have had it to 20 mile an hour. It kind of seems like it's home at around 17 mile an hour. They claimed 15 and a half. I'm doing a little better than that, but I'm not very heavy. So that makes a big difference in any things that you put. Supposed to go 20 miles. You know, I think we're going maybe 15 miles on one battery. Uh, a lot of things in varies the wind pushing at you and uh, how much weight you have on it. So that makes a big difference there on it. But I gotta say, I'm really, really, really impressed of all my electric e-bikes and scooters I have. This is the only scooter actually I have. This one is so fun to ride. I gotta say, it's one of my favorites on it. So if you guys are interested in a little scooter, now if you're a bigger person, it might be different, but I'm a small person. I'm only like five foot three, something like that. And I love this lower seat. It just makes such a big, big difference for, for the way I ride in that. So I'm just impressed. Hey, I'll leave a link down below for these bikes. Or I think they were $3.99 the last time I looked, which is not a bad, but you can uh, hit the link on my phone below and take you right to it. So, and I appreciate that. Anytime you do any uh, uh, Amazon, I have an Amazon affiliate and uh, there's a link in all, the bottom of all my videos. If you check it and you click on that, you go buy something. It'll help me out a whole bunch, cost you zero, nothing. There's no obligation to you at all. It's just, you click that thing and it goes right to your site, make your purchases and it'll help me out a lot. If you're not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe. I've done several things with e-bikes and that. I've got done some dog uh, barking videos and that. I got all kinds of things. I've got tons of videos out there, something for everybody. So check it out. If you're not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe. Join one of our live streams. We do them every Monday evening at 6 p.m. I usually do a, a little one that I drive a truck on Saturday morning. It's at uh, 9 a.m. So check us out on that there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, share it with your friends. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate every one of you.